Thanks for staying with us on TVC News at 7. We begin with updates on the UAE visa ban where the United Arab Emirates has lifted the joint new foreign exchange liquidity program between the two governments, which will be announced in detail in weeks. The president commended the UAE president for his unalloyed friendship. Now for further perspectives on the landmark deal with the UAE by President Junibu, I'm being joined on the news at 7 by a policy analyst, Baba Yusuf. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Indeed, this is one of the gains of the Mr. President's trip. But what do you make of the fact that the president himself had to intervene to resolve this lingering conflict? Thank you very much. First of all, let me tell you, I'm very excited. I'm very delighted as... Uh, someone that has a very deep rooted relationship with the, uh, with the United Arab Emirates, uh, personal and business, among with other teaming Nigerians that are interested in engaging in business. And as a Nigerian that wants to look forward to a turnaround of the economy, very excited by this development. Importantly, Mr. President, you know, has demonstrated capacity and is living up to his words. You know, I love the phrase you use, economic diplomacy. To hear that not just sorting out the lingering, you know, socioeconomic issues and foreign relation issues. I mean, the president came out with new deals, you know, for Nigeria. Uh, I heard you reading in the news, win-win uh, situation with regards to new investments. It's not just sorting out the lingering problems, but moving forward, he's coming with new deals on the table. Absolutely, Mr. Yusuf. I mean, economic investment in Nigeria is a fantastic one for us. And I'm very excited about that. Absolutely. And I'm also just wondering if it's really something worth celebrating. I mean, uh, the fact that, for instance, Etihad and Emirates Airlines would have to resume flights immediately. Uh, how much really do we stand to benefit? Hope that Nigeria and Nigerians will not be at the receiving end. The fact that we are not able to make as many flight uh, activities as uh, these airlines would make in and out of our country. I can tell you something for free. There is no how Mr. President will come out with a lopsided deal to our disadvantage. That's 100% guaranteed, based on his antecedents and understanding the seriousness with which he takes this trip and this process and this mandate. I am very sure that this issue will, will be resolved. Don't forget that one of the issues, uh, the pluses I will give the former administration is the principle of reciprocity in terms of diplomacy. When we have the Honorable Minister of, of Aviation and Aer Aerospace that travel with Mr. President, amongst other, you know, very important members of cabinet that will properly advise Mr. President with regard to some of these numbers. So I am sure the issue of the track form for the UAE will be addressed. I heard you talking about the currency exchange uh, advantage. So I'm very sure that that will be sorted out to the advantage of, uh, you know, both sides. Win Let's win talk about... Is what Okay, Mr. Yusuf, let's talk about sustaining this legacy. How do we ensure that, you know, Nigerians who go out there are able to put the best foot forward and uh, we don't get that image of, uh, you know, a people that are not desired to be in other climate? This is a very important question to me because, like I tell you, I have a deeply rooted relationship, personal, family, and business with you. And I think part of what will happen now is when Mr. President, I look forward to Mr. President coming to sit down with the relevant minister, ministries or MDAs to ensure, for example, the Nigerian immigration, the Nigerian customs, the Nigeria, the minister take it easy with them. And for those that are out there doing business, doing the right, any legitimate life and adding value to those economies to Nigeria to give them full protection going forward. Policy analyst, Baba Yusuf, thank you for talking to us on TV News at 7. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.